Columbus City leaders are stepping into the fight against a west side bus terminal that some neighbors call a nuisance. The city attorney filed a lawsuit against the owners of the Greyhound station on Wilson Road, citing safety and crime concerns. NBC 4's Anna Hoffman has been following this months long battle. She joins us now live with an update on this, Anna. Jared, basically this is another ultimatum from the city of Columbus. Fix the problems or move locations. A month ago, the city told the owners Barron buses they had 30 days to fix those violations. Well, that deadline passed yesterday, and city attorney Zach Klein did not waste any time filing a lawsuit. He's urging the courts, the courts to declare the terminal a public nuisance and to order them to find a more appropriate location. Klein says since opening in June, Columbus police have been called to the terminal 62 times and have taken 14 criminal complaints. He also noted safety and sanitation concerns. I just spoke with the building and zoning department and it seems Barron buses is not just throwing in the towel. They did fix two of their four violations like covering up the unapproved graphics and they also appealed the site plan violation that they had and asked for an extension in obtaining a certificate of occupancy. City leaders say they realize bus services are vital to some, but the owners have to go about providing those services safely. So they do play an important role, and we have to remember that some of our, our friends in Columbus do utilize that. But that doesn't give Greyhound some sort of uh, uh, lack of responsibility for them to operate a nuisance that is creating problems in our neighborhood. They have to operate responsibly like every other business does in the city. I have reached out to Barron Buses for the third time since this debate started. I'm still waiting on a response back. Tonight at 5, hear from some nearby neighbors who say they've been waiting for this news all summer long. Local for you in the Hilltop, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.